run this QR code for the attendance. Let's for the attendance. This is a function, all these functions can be used. So, this procedure, now this procedure is a properties. So, what you understand by this? So, as for the requirement of a user, okay, so as the user is required, uh, it, uh, it can modify its own processes, okay, along with its own property. So, as for the requirement for the user, so user whatever he requires, so he can either add some extra features to the existing procedures or either it can create a with new procedure. of different properties that it can be used to create you can say it can be used to create a new form of property for form standard modules and class okay so we can say uh, some some of the properties of the processes like it can be used for the read of the board for the properties like form use the design of process process or processor for the form or the class module or standard module. Now, in that case, we can only use for uh, read only. Topic. And 
and which allows it to provide basically three kinds of properties for the procedure. The first one is the property let the procedure to set the value of the property. For example, here if you want to create a, a property a procedure for a drawing a line. Now we can set the properties okay, for that procedure like what will be by width of the line, what will be by color of the line, okay, what will be by coordinate. Okay, first properties can be set during the procedure. And second one is the property gets procedure that return the value to the property. Okay. And once you uh, define certain properties for the procedure, then we will be able to get certain written values for that property also. And third point regarding this is property set procedure that set the reference to an object. Sometimes we need a reference to a particular object. So on that case, we will uh, perform what we will do. We will set the property to reference to an object. So this is an example uh, of a simple program. So where we are using here, now here we are using one uh, predefined procedure, which is your console dot write. Okay, this is a predefined procedure here. You can see here. This is my predefined procedure. Console dot write. Okay. Now this is the procedure. So we have set the property. Now this is our input parameter for this property. So as you can see, this is very simple user for the program. Now this is your comment line. Okay, basically we use this uh, single code. Okay, now this single code reference before here. Now this single code before here. This is our comment line number one and line number two are the common lines which indicate that uh, basically indicate that the remainder of the line is a common so now this is our module so always we will write in terms of some module either in standard module or in terms of class module okay so this is my module is started now here the module is started now basically you can say the visual basic console application consists of piece of what module that is written in a standard module or it is written in a class module okay now this is uh, this is a number of module given mod, mod first welcome okay now there is a main function is, uh, so every uh, we can know that every processor is started with a sub function called sub and, and sub uh, here this is the main function here you can here sub main now uh, this is the main procedure you can see here you get a description also the main procedure is the entirety point to the program and it is present in all console applications now, this will be whatever console application you write console application or standard application standard applications so whatever console application we will going to write so we will going to define this main function okay on um, that this will end with this and sub okay now there is a predefined processor we have used here now this is my predefined processor now this is basically used for uh, displaying the output so we can write the console dot online statement to display the text output of a console so whenever we need to uh, display certain output okay, or text output to the console so we will going to use this predefined function which is your console dot write. So what will we will do? It will simply print a message like uh, in application window. Now it will generate a form like this. Okay, output window. It will form. Now there will be a message box. Okay, there we will go to display the welcome message. Okay. So this will be this is in the form of output. Okay, the output will be in the form of uh, you can say Windows uh, Windows format. Okay, so can write out this one. So write out this application for this program.
let's move on. Now this is our second. That's a second uh, application where we are. The second program. Okay. Now we are basically most of the things you can see that is safe. Now this is our comment line. Okay. That's comment line. As we started with seven dollar. Then we are having the module. Now this is the second module. This is the mod. Second module. The module is added with the M module. Now this is the M module. As I say, the console program will be. Started with the Console dot my client. What we do now? If you want to display the message in uh, just in the same line. Okay. So if you want to display the message in the same line, so we will write the console dot my. Okay. And both of these will be going to in the uh, output of the message. Okay. But what is different? Now it will be not if you write console dot my. Now it will be changes to new line. But if you write the console dot my line. So it will display the message in the same way. So you can see that output. So what is output here? Now output is combination of these two. Now tell me that like, welcome to each of this. This part, second part, which is written, it is just written in the same way. So why it is so? Because when we are using the console dot write line, okay, so it will be useful when we want to display the message in the same. Way. This is second example of where we are using the user basic function of processes. Okay, now this is uh, okay. Now this is the program. Okay, this is the user basic program, which is basically uh, used for the uh, you can say addition of two numbers. Okay, now we have this is again this comment line. Okay, this is our module. Now this is our module. Added the module now. There will be end module. Now this will be the entire thing. The module is started here and here. Okay. And we have given the name of the module as mod addition. Okay. We have performed the addition of two numbers. Now, as I said, every console program started with the main. So there is a sub main and there is an end sub. Fine. So as this every Module that is starting with the main part. Now we have division two variables. So first variable is your first number, second variable is your second number, and we are declaring as an integer. Type. So as it is variable name, so we have to use vim command. Okay. So many I use two numbers here. So again I am going to use the variable name, so it is vim number one. And sum of the numbers and the number. So the three variables which is declared as an integer, the two variables which is declared as a thing. So now what we are doing now displaying the message. Okay, now we are displaying the message here. So now this button. Basically, uh, we display the message. Please enter the first entry number. Now here console dot read line. Now this is the method read line. Cause the program to pause and wait for the user. Now this is the function which will be take input from the user. So whatever input it will take, it will be in the string format and it will going to store in the first time. Okay. So this is particular function. Okay. Console dot read line. Okay. This console dot read line are basically used for take input from the user. And whatever input it will take, it will go to store the first number and in the 
existing form. Similarly, if I can solve uh, the right root square and get a second number, so I will again do this console dot read line. Okay, this console dot read line will enter the second number and it's going to store the second number in the form of string. Now, when I write number one equal to one, now it will be performing implicit conversion. That means the string type will be converted to the integer type. And similarly, the string type is converted to the integer type. Now, I perform the addition. Now, sum of the number equal to number one plus number two. So, whatever result you will get, that means you have to store in a sum of the number. Then finally, it will display the number. So, it will sum this. Now, this will display the sum value. Now, what is the result that we have got by performing the addition of these two numbers? Okay. So, the result that I am going to display in my final output. Okay. So, in my final output, the result that I can be displayed. Fine. So, this is an example where we have used different functions or Procedures, okay, the functions are procedures for adding two numbers. Are we returning to the basic program for adding two numbers? So just note down this program to be get some idea of the user. Okay, it is copied. So, let's move on. Now, this is another example here. Let's see. So, we will see that we are using the different types of operators. This is the application operator for performing the comparisons. Okay.
What we have done now, we have used this console dot write function and console dot read function to read a number. Okay, now we have displayed that in case and type the first integer number and whatever the integer number we will display that will be used to store in my number. So, I have a console dot read. Similarly, I have used the console dot write by okay, console dot write. Now, so whenever we write, okay, or whenever we enter. This zero is equal to one. That is number one is equal to number one. Okay, now we this every statement to be ended with the and it's it. So the new second comparison we are performing here. Now if number one is not equal to number two, then we will display console dot right line that number one is not equal to number two. Okay, again it is ended with ended. Now that will be a part. If statement here, now you can see the number one is less than number two. Then we display this number one is less than Now this is a force if statement that is number given number one. Number one for the value for the first value, whether it is a greater than or greater than or not greater than. If it is greater than, then we will do this. Let's see. Uh, this is the last uh, last comparison that we have made. It is if number one is less than equal to uh, number two, then we have to this with this button equal to. Now, if it is greater than equal to number two, then we have to this with this button equal to. Now, this main function is ended with the what? This main function is ended with the and sub, which is the, the main function of it, which is ended here. Similarly, and what it specifies the module is okay. Okay, now these are some of the outputs of this program. Suppose we have entered two numbers, this and this. Now we can see if we compare uh, all of this if statement, okay, that there is basically five different if statements we are having. So now it will be going to compare all the if statement. So out of this we can see whatever the statement is true, like this is not equal to this is true. And this less than this two, and this is less than equal to this is two. So we go to display this three. Similarly, if you take a case, test case, this case one, test case one, less than two. Now, if you take a test case two, and test case two, the right hand foot is 500 by 149. Now, this will be by output. It is not equal to then it is greater than and this is greater than. Now this is my test test three. Okay, I think this is my test test three. Okay. So let's see how the numbers are equal there. Okay, how the numbers are equal. Okay, so how the numbers are equal. Now the output, now the output, now the output. This is equal. Okay, so these are the outputs of the given program. Now, basically, this program, what we have done, the basic idea of this program is the use of relation operators. So, we have used certain relation operators, okay, to write the console of the program, and based on the relation operator, we have seen some of the test cases and what should be the desired output for this test case. Okay, so Note of 
Now, this is the example where you can see the output is in the form of uh, Windows format, Windows application format. And you can see here uh, the output is displayed in the Windows application format. So, first of all, let's understand what this program is. Now, this program is basically displayed the spiral topic here. One, we have to import certain uh, library files of Microsoft Foundation class. Like we have to use the import system dot window dot form of this file. Okay, 
Message start so okay. Message box source so which is again defined inside the this particular Microsoft Windows class or that file. You can say the definition of this one will be based on this function will be provided in this one. Now it is basically what we will do. So what we are going to message box source so it will create a window type and whatever results are there, the result is going to display in this. Uh, process box form. Now you can see here. Now what we have displayed here. Now it is displaying a string here. As you can subscribe to who is. Now so we are giving the underscore root. That means the value of this root value. Now this root value is assigned here. Okay. And the square root of two. And again the string value is given here. Now we have square root is one point one four. It is here. Now it is simply writing the square root of two is this one. So this is your heading. Of the message box, which is square root of two. Okay, now this is a heading of the message box, and we will display that square root of two is the value of this one. Now you can see here, it's the entire value is zero. Fine. So in, in this manner, we can uh, we can so we can assign this value. Okay. Now in this example, what is very important here? The important is how the output is displayed. Now the output is displayed in the terms of message box or Windows application. Okay, so this is an example of how we can we can note down this one. This is how we are displaying the various function of Microsoft application class. We are doing for it system dot com. Without its applications, So what basically we have done is a few examples of basic visual basics. So we have started with a very basic command where we are doing the predefined function called console dot dot right line. Then we have found the second one. Okay. The third one we have the IDC number where we are doing the console dot read line to read and to read. Then we have seen some of the how special operators can be used. Okay, for comparing. Then uh, the test cases of this box will be tested and the other respective outputs. Then, then we have gone to this particular example where the output is displayed in, in terms of your uh, what you can see in terms of your videos or message box. Okay, where we have imported uh, imports a special uh, Indian function. So Consist of your definition of method problems. Okay, so if someone has missed okay, the attendance part, so they can scan this one. Let's scan this. 